Hello everyone, this is Sirius Trivia. Welcome back to another Forming Portugal Let's Play here in Crusader Kings 3. Now last time we got ourselves involved in a new war with Baia. We are trying to take this county here to add it to our collection of counties in the potential Duchy of Coimba, which has four pieces. This is going to be our second piece, and we need three to form the Duchy. But uh, the war is a slow process. There is only one county here that we took. We are not super confident in directly facing off against his army. Luckily, he was in a war with his neighboring faction here. And he's out of that war now, marching army up. We might go crush it, since it's rather weak, so that we can speed up our uh, war score, essentially, and come out victorious, so that we can move on to a war with this small... Um, I guess he's still a duke. Yeah, he's still a duke, even though he only has one piece of land left. We took his other piece. Um, we're going to attack him next, finish off um, him here, so that we can form another of the duchies that we need. We can usurp his title, or we could just wait for our son to create it, which I think is how we work. We'll check inheritance after we take it. So let's first come back to here, and let's see where we want to meet them. This is an open plain. I mean, it would make more sense for us to catch them in the mountain, but I don't think they will show up if I'm standing here. Hmm. I mean, the planes is fine. They're not super strong. We could always switch commanders. We have some better choices for fighting in the open field like that. I think we can go either with just Holy Warrior for 29. Hmm, Bettis. Bettis has a four point advantage in the planes and that's about it. Not good enough. It's summer, it's not winter, so that's not really going to work. I think Holy Warrior might be just the best for this. If we're going to meet him in the field. So let's get Rudolph out here. And we're going to march the army over. And hopefully we meet him there. If he runs away, he runs away. We're going to let the war score slowly tick up. We're saving up some money now. And my idea is... Oh, we finished converting. Right, there's a couple things that will finish. Control will be done, you know, faith will be changed, and this will be great because now we uh, can move on to the new one once we do take it. I don't know if we want to give our bishop something else to do right now, simply because I'm going to have to switch him back pretty soon. And there's not a lot of place where I need to fabricate claims. Like, this is the only county here that we don't have a claim. Maybe this one as well. Wait, which ones do we have? We gotta take a look here. We have this one that we're about to take. We got that done already. We have the one that we took, right? Wait, oh, this is the one that we want to invoke his title in the future once we pick up uh, the innovation and increase our crown authority. Basically, if we have a claim on it, then we wouldn't gain any tyranny. This is the one that's right here, okay. Is it owned by a little kid right now? His dad died? Wow, Herculean little child. Should I be afraid? I mean, we're in a war with his liege right now, so we'll figure something out. This is the one that I'm going to war for right now. So it will be pressed after we take it. That's where Lisboa is, Lisbon, and this is, so we are missing this piece, but we technically don't need it, because once we get three, we can form the Duchy of Coimba, and that's kind of what we need, so we don't need to actually grab that one. The Duchy, is, the duchy title is not created yet, so like wasting time to fabricate, hoping to get the Duchy title, it's not really going to work out. I guess it's that piece right there, and this piece right here. And this piece has the same issue, where if we're trying to form the Duchy of Baia, we technically don't need this. Although it would be easier if we potentially pick up the Duchy title, because it's already been created. The, taf the Taifa is the Duchy title. So maybe, maybe we send him over. Give him something to do, because this war might take a while. Who knows if... He will come and show up to this battle or not. Oh, 
Oh, he's going for the resiege. And we caught him. That's what we need. We caught him. Right, so he has this unique skirmisher that's pretty good, but uh, we have our bowmen to su subdue it. Anyways, let's see how this goes. It looks like we are gonna just win this easily. That's our strongest knight. Our son is not dying. Um, I mean, we're winning all these wars and all these fights recently, so it's understandable. I should probably send out a small army if I want to get him killed. He's just not a very ideal son. He doesn't look very healthy, but somehow he's greatly reduced disease symptoms. Successful treatment. We have a good physician. But come on, the symptoms are crazy here. He's a drunkard, one-legged with gout. We're going to keep him single so that, you know, when he dies, it goes to his brother. That's kind of the plan right now. We killed two of his knights. He has a really powerful one, but all the weaker ones did get killed. All right, so our war score goes up only to 73%, huh? I guess with that army crushed, maybe we go and siege Lisboa. Maybe ransom a couple of his kids or maybe his wife. We get some money here. Let's do it. Take a more active war approach. Yeah, our struggle phases are going super slowly. Um, with the rate where... Well, what has happened with you? A wounded and disillusioned mercenary group has arrived at the county of Astorga over here. We don't own it. The locals seem to have overheard settling down after pillaging an easy target and begin to grow anxious. Yes, we had dealt with this before. We have a couple options here. We can pay and hire them as instruction instructors, lose some holding tax, get some growth, lose some popular opinion, cheaper mercenary going, but like spending 125 to get that discount feels kind of bad. Diplomacy chap challenge. Oh, so we could get looted, which is terrible. Force them out. Will be stressed. It will be a martial challenge. Local garrison wiped. Let the local handle it. Mercenary turned farmers. Well, that's actually a good result, but only 25%. Local using elite tactic. Let's see how much our wife can influence this before we decide. So we can. Boost diplomacy all the way to 81% chance. She's not very good at martial, so that's kind of helpless. I'm not paying 125. So we're going to take the diplomacy challenge here. And hopefully we're going to get 150 prestige and some extra popular opinion. Yep. Thank you, wife. Love you. Stop killing people. And let's proceed. So they bounce back. I don't really care. They're rather weak now. And we're going to start sieging. There's going to be a bit of attrition going on, but that's fine as well. I don't know if the commander should still be the same. Lisboa is on a plane, I think. Yeah. So I guess we'll keep him. He's going to counter siege this, which is the war objective. I'm going to be faster. I imagine. 1.2? Okay. Maybe we do spend the money to upgrade the Onagers? We'll see. He's... yeah. He's much slower. The garrison's actually close to his size, so I, I don't think we'll have a problem here. Alright, let's win the war and hopefully capture some of his family. I'm pretty sure his wife is here. Yep. Ah, another three years. Another stress workout situation. Let's do it. And then we can finally stop being sweaty. No partners this time, just us. Okay, we're good there. Eat your cheese. Oh, our aging cheese is ready to be... Oh, wow. I didn't, I didn't know this artifact can be just consumed like that. What do we get for eating our cheese? I mean, we have an empty slot where we can gain prestige rather than take this small health boost and have the smelly situation. 
Maybe... Maybe we'll gain the effect. Oh! We can de-stress from this. Well, look at this. <laughs> uh, eat your cheese. Well, we're currently fine. We have another de-stress option down the line by uh, keeping our cheese nice and uh, aged here. And control has been gained, which means he can go back to training commanders. Excellent. Is it me or my wife is pregnant again? Ah, sorry, shouldn't have said that. She's 39. I don't think we're getting any more kids from her. So three sons, one that we're pretty disappointed in. How's our other two boy turning out? So he's 14 now. He's gonna come of age soon and this marriage is gonna actually happen. Okay. Our, our, our future daughter-in-law is very interested in learning. She's calm, she's just. That's, that's great. I mean, he's brave, he's content, he's still missing a third trait, so we're still waiting on that. And this is the son with the new wife, who's currently nine. He's gonna be stewardship focused, which is good, actually. Looks like he's finally gonna pick up some intrigue. Our family intrigue has been so bad. He has shown bravery, okay. Good for him. And we have our youngest daughter, who's four. She's getting... She has no guardian, huh? A bit of intrigue training? No, let's not do that. Let's do, um... Let's do our bishop. 51 years young. It's just because he's kind of, um, maybe even him. We'll try to improve their relationship with us, essentially. 38 is a bit low, but I don't want him to educate my daughter. She has some Stuart Talon potential, so maybe we'll do this. I could guide it. I could, you know, guardian her real quick, guide it, and then switch back. But I think it'd be more fun to let her figure it out. He's decent, right? No, he's not good learning. Never mind, never mind, never mind. It's going to be the bishop. He was the guardian for our other daughter. So, might as well train both of them. Who's educating my other daughter? I thought, wait, I thought he was... Oh, oh, she's, well, she's intrigue focused with intelligent. She's our scary kid in the family. She's the one who picked up a good trait. But unfortunately, we might have to just end up marrying her off. We could also play as a queen, but it would take a lot of work killing all three sons. Lively livestock. As additional payment in recent trade, I find myself in possession of a large herd of cattle. I have been assured that the animals are of the highest quality, but the question of what should be done with them remains. So we can give them to a particular county to gain some development. We could. It is our sort of realm capital here. And to be honest, the development is already pretty high. It's already eight. It needs to go to 10. So this could work 15 years. We could do a stewardship challenge, a large herd of, so 20%, but we have to do a challenge for it, or we can sell it by turning them to hide. I don't think temporary gold is better than development. We're playing the long game here. So we're going to gamble with stewardship and see the ratio here. 82, 70, hmm. Or we can just settle for the 10%. I think 10% is fine. 
mainly because it's going to hit 10 before the 15 years, and then it'll be a pretty massive penalty, and it wouldn't really make sense to continue to raise the development there. Has it not happened yet? Huh? I thought it would be instant, no? Wait a second, son. Oh, there it is. Cattle herd. It's now listed. Yeah, it's uh... It's gonna be pretty fast. Alright, our youngest son has been asking me for a suiting kit. And I told him I would get him one in three months if he displayed more focus in his studies. He responded he was fine with his current dedication. He's gonna be content, isn't he? Our kids are gonna be all content. The two younger brother being content. That's... that's fine. That's not bad. Makes it easier for our current um, oldest son to rule for a while. He's going to have to rule with the Iron Fist for a little bit. Military engineering trait. Decrease siege time. On who? Pedro. Should I make you lead the battle? Mm, we could. Let's swap him. Wait, he's our brother-in-law from the first marriage, right? Wait, how is he our... ...brother-in-law? That's his dad. So... Who... Who's the sister? Right, who's the sister? Daughter of King... Oh. Oh, 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 okay. This is the relationship. This is our daughter-in-law's brother. So how is he our brother-in-law? That That's kind of weird. That That is kind of weird. Please live longer. Don't die. Don't let our man remarry. Don't want to deal with any, uh, killing of his kid, our best friend. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened? He's joining our war? I'm not paying for this. I mean, you could. Oh, is he joining the war on the other side? Enemy ally. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, we got another one to fight. I'm pretty sure the second we grab this, we win. Alright, we're... Got a lot of gold. We're gonna spend it. We're gonna build some buildings. Um, I was potentially waiting... No, we're good. We got architect, so we're good. Let's see what buildings we should invest in. So the duchy buildings are out of our control right now because we just can't build it. We don't have the right innovations. Wooden barricade feels kind of bad. Uh, spearman damage, that's fine. I guess we, we won't destroy anything that we currently have. Our dad built these. Small harbor is pretty nice. Can we upgrade? We can upgrade. Ooh. Is it better to upgrade or is it better to... So we get 5% development and 0.2. I think maybe just farm and field. Just get more money. Archer damage. Mm, I I don't know. I'm not a fan of the military setups. Holding tax. I think this is just better. We're gonna build a farm. It's on a plane. Makes sense. This is on the hill. It's a little bit different. Hill farms are not as good. Hmm. 
maybe somewhere else. This guy's on a mountain, right? No, it's still a hill. Maybe a hunting ground? We're not using light cavalry right now, but eventually we will. That's point four on the upgrade. Yeah, the money situation's okay. What about down south? We don't have full control yet. No, we do. We fixed all the control, so we're getting all the money. They have a pasture. They are a plane. So yeah, farm will return us the most money, and let's do it. Wall and tower is also a pretty good choice. A little bit of money, a little bit of fort level increase. Garrison increase. Archer damage increase. Yeah, I like that, actually. Uh, but this first. Farms first. We'll do the other later. We still have 127. We're going to keep building. I guess... I mean, we also own this, but this one is in the mountains. So what, what can you... Any mines? Yeah, quarry. There we go. That is maybe what we want here. Let's go. Okay, pretty happy with how that money spent. We're gonna get a couple more coin change here, and hopefully just end the war because we probably capture his wife, maybe his heir, and then we can just stop this nonsense. There we go. Got our war score. We have won the siege. Got our twenty. We have taken their spy master, who has some money of his own. Can we ransom him? He will not accept. <laughs> okay. We'll negotiate his release then. We'll get a hook on him. He has some, you know, cash on himself. So that'll be fine. I don't want to recruit him. I guess we... Do we want him? Not that interesting. Let me keep the... I mean... If you think about it, we keep a hook on his spy master that opens up other possibilities down the line. Aside from cash, maybe he can work as an agent for us. Now we're going to do this real slow so that he just stops. We get the release secure, then we go for the piece. Come on, accept the release, accept the release. There we go. And obviously we could trade it for just 10. I was thinking maybe he can help us, uh, you know, kill their liege, potentially. Uh, but the war's over. We gain 20 fame, good for us. And we're going to have to disband first. You cannot start a war with the army on the field. So we'll move our rally point down south. Get ready for that war very soon. And let's look at our new land. Also in the mountains. Ooh, they got the quarry. They got a small fort. Yeah, we're probably just upgrading the quarry in time once we get some money. Also short, like cheapens man arm maintenance, which would stack with other ones. Definitely an interesting choice. Did they get any richer? Oh, he's at 33. What about our daughter? She's only a four. Okay. We got this through conquest. Culture, faith, control, all issues. Two month left on that, we'll just wait and then we'll convert them over. Wait, did I not select the right one? Wait, he's not going. What's he doing? There we go. That was weird. Alright, so we'll rest for a little bit and then start our next war. How is this kid growing up? Uh, Pedro's... Wait. I thought someone else own portal. Huh. Oh, he was that kid. He's 18 now with 
You you grew up fast. Look at that full beard. And then like, look at us. I, I feel slightly embarrassed. We have this double thing going on. Ah, huh, so he grew up. He married our sister. That's why he's our brother-in-law. I get it now. Could we kill him? She has kids. She is... Wait, why is he in someone else's court? He's a duke. He owns land. I'm confused about all this relationship. So your son has a lot of land. You're married to... Oh. He's young. Gotta say, these are weird marriages he has signed up for his, uh... other siblings it's from his wait how are they related i'm i'm super confused about this i right, so how does she have siblings how does she have siblings ah okay okay not Directly on the same tree. That's page rule. That's the girl. So they are related? As siblings? Not even the same generation here. Right. At least she's inheriting his titles. Okay, that line died. Right, I guess we don't have to worry too much about this. We will eventually invoke his title. Like, I would think he might lose some of his title. Because he has a press claim on the Duchy of Portocal, but we have the current live claim, and our son will inherit that if all goes correct. Right, when we die... Yeah, the duchy will go to our second son. And he's gonna get a bunch of counties, which is what we're trying to avoid, right? We're trying to get him something, another duchy, so there's three duchy to split among our sons. And then we can easily get those back through war, basically, but that's the idea. So we got to get this done. Let's look at his strength. Ooh, okay, the ally's weak. Yes, I mean, someone mentioned you should use, I mean, I should use struggle clash because then I can take land that's just adjacent to each other but in this case you know it's not going to make any difference unless it's cheaper I don't know it's more expensive so we're just going to do this that should do it and let's go to war should you lead uh, we're fighting on planes here let's get the increased siege Make him work for us. I can't believe he's 18. That just does not look 18 to me. 
Oh, I don't need my ally here. Is it me or he's rallying faster than me? Oh, but he only has 500. Poor guy. Ah, army's ready. Uh, he does not need to be leading this fight. Let's make it a uh, holy warrior here. Gotta win the land battle first. Oh, we got... Oh, that is his ally. That's not just a random struggle opportunist. Okay, that's fine. We expected that one. Where is he, by the way? Oh, just the neighbor. Huh. Come, come if you wish. With your 200 men. Ah, there it is. Join, join before the battle's over. I want to kill you all together. Oh, he's actually favored. How come? 36, wow. Thank God he has less men. Leading his own, never back down. Crazy. Yeah, we're just going to have to overpower them here. Okay, same man arms, but we have much bigger size. Did they not? Okay, it's 300 on the bottom. But they have only 100. Why is it saying size 1? We clearly have size 3. We're not losing this. Not with the 10 to 1 manpower advantage. Let us capture their leader, please. Alright. Faro. I've actually been to Faro. A very nice beach town. The southern Mediterranean cliffs are all very pretty. Okay, have we beaten him up enough? Oh, I guess I have it on pause. We we're gonna beat him infinitely. All right, so we wiped him there. They have better knights. They have more knights because they had two armies. Our son's doing nothing. Oh well, we're sieging now. Um, shouldn't take too long to bring this down. So here we're going to swap. We didn't catch anyone. So only a small victory here. We have finished fabricating the claim. Ooh, he got us the entire title. Yeah, we'll take it. That's exactly what we wanted him to do that for, and now he's going to have to convert some faith. Busy job. Tough job. Three years, and then he's going to have to come here. Yeah, all's well. Oh? Ah, pay him for troops. Little kid, I like how you think, but um, no thanks. We got this one. I mean, we could offer our services to different wars in a similar fashion to get money. Oh, speaking of money, we have enough to build something again. We didn't build anything here. We haven't built anything here at all. Um, hills are just not super profitable. That is just the truth. There's a ratio boost here, right? For holding tax? Yep, so... I guess we'll put a farm out here. It 
goes to 1.7 at the max level. 1.3. There's a little bit of development growth kicking in at tier 4. Okay. Maybe this is better then. Less money, but development growth. No, don't need that. Small building time decrease. Level 3. Alright, I'm going to go with the pastoral land first. Alright, win the war. It's so even. It's like hostility and... In consolidation, it's just so close. Oh, they're coming back. Hold on. Let's swap to... I still think Holy Warrior is probably the best. 29? It's the best we can do, I think. Alright, round two. Ooh, we learned our language. After a lot of hard work, I finally learned Arabic. Endless hours of practicing, accentuations, sleepless nights, mimicking inflections, countless lessons mastering intonations, and it was all worth it in the end. And we were able to pick up his accent. Okay, we could just be happy. We can learn it. Okay, and... Okay, or we can impress him with a letter. He likes us. No, he doesn't. He's terrified of us. That's fine. I'm, I'm happy. I've just accomplished here. And the more important thing is I have my scheme back. I can finally do a personal scheme again. And there's a couple that we want to do. Like, make sure our spy master likes us? Wait, what language does he speak? Gaelic, okay. No, not interested. I think the next language we kind of want to do is... Um... Let me just sway him. I don't know if I want him to be his friend. I want to learn Italian so that we can cozy up with the Pope. So first we learn Arabic, then we learn Italian. Stop just maiming our knights, kill us. Oh, we caught their leader. That was a quick war. So much for uh, sieging it down. Now we don't actually need to win the war with him. I mean, we can... Okay, he's poor. If he was richer, I would just release him and keep fighting. Let's take the win. 15 fame. Wait, oh, the local barony title. So we don't get any payments from him, I don't believe. Yeah, he's just released. That's okay. Good battle. Their knight still outdid us because my son's useless. Also, we just don't have powerful knights. I mean, he's just like his grandfather. We sent his grandfather to war so many times, and he just like did not do anything at all in all those wars. So we picked up Faro. Uh, it's on a play. It's technically more lucrative. Potentially, we can swap the control over eh, one at a time. First things first. We'll fix it later. All right, so our domain limit moves up to seven and we could usurp the title, but I suspect that right now, if we look at succession, oh no, he doesn't pick it up. He does take the individual ones. No, he will make it, right. He will make the Duchy of Algarve, so it's good. We have perfect setup. We lose two titles, but we don't lose any land, so all the land we control up here will still be our sons. 
even the ones in Coimba will still be our sons. Wait, who picks up this one? Do we not have a claim on this? Oh. He goes free? Or like he becomes our vassal, perhaps? Yeah, so this is done. We don't need to usurp it. He will create it. That's the beauty of this. This is only 10. This is only 10. I mean, because they're on landed now, I think. I'll take it. He's also on landed now. All right, with our new found cash, building is going on, building is not going on. I think we'd also do pastoral land, maybe hunting ground. It doesn't get the development boost until tier seven. Versus tier four here. Oh, I'm poor or not rich enough. All right, so we got our war done. At least succession is no longer an issue. That's the main thing. Now, I don't plan on dying anytime soon. But it looks like we're just going to be in development phase. If we're super ambitious, we could create the Kingdom of Portugal right now, but I think that will lead to a messier succession than the current one. I think splitting into three and then having our oldest son take it back is probably smoother than becoming a kingdom and then splitting it with one son and then the other get interior vassal situation. And we can't really go to war with them, we have to wait for the invoke. Yeah, I think I think that's probably the better option. We could still sneak a couple land, especially here. Because as long as we don't have enough to form the duchy, we can get away with it. How many pieces? It's four pieces? So we can take two. And that will move our domain limit up. So our war target would be them. Uh, we definitely have a truth with them from the last war, but perhaps we can do a struggle war? No. Yeah, no. Um, when is the truth gonna end? Four years. Okay, we'll do a struggle claim to maybe grab. The problem is I want this one. <laughs> I want where Lisboa is. If we're doing just adjacent land, then there'll be these two. I mean, they're probably better. Looking at the 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 build, this one's really nice. There's not much here. Yeah, that this is the one we want actually. Maybe we take this. We'll see. All right, we're making decent cash per turn. We're staying focused on our target. There's a lot of wheat target we can take. Like, this is just free land, but... Um, haha, we can extort our subjects for money again. They're not gonna like me, but um, we're greedy like that. And they can give us some building. Peasants. Oh, not even targeting a subject, just peasants. Dip the control. Drop popular opinion. Uh, what's the chance of them uh, rebelling against us here? I don't want to lose control. That's not worth the money. Dread is not necessarily a bad thing. Especially since it counteracts vassals from rebelling against us.
There we go. <laughs> it's gonna be there for a while. All right, let's see. We're gonna build something. I mean, with the money we, you know, extorted from you, we're gonna build and make you a better place. What is that giant army here? Please don't be raiding us. Okay, okay, they're not. Right, we don't have the tech for it. It's coastal for growth. Yeah, well, let's build this as well. Even though we don't have full control, it's still such a good building. I think we just get it started. We're in full development. Oh, our second son has come of age. Let's see how he turned out. He is a military engineer trait. Only two stars, but that's fine. He kept... Sh oh, Shy was one of his traits. Okay. Is the marriage... She's older, so the marriage will go through right now. We still betrothed. She has not come up, but she picked up her trait as well. All right, we can consummate the marriage. And our son will gain a nice chunk of prestige. Our best friend, daughter, and our, you know, our son getting married. And that also supplies another ally for us. Excellent. Um, yeah. So basically when that truth end, we could, I guess the danger of this is we pick up an extra duchy. And that's not something we kind of want right now. This feels super free. Is it worth taking though? Nicely developed. He also has no ally. I'm tempted to take this. He's allied to them, which makes him rather weak. Oh, the problem is I don't have any claims. Right. We border him. Right, so we can use the more expensive struggle clash. We vassalize the contested tax. I don't want to vassal, I want direct ownership. So I guess I would have to make some claims for this to work. I would probably take this because it feels like they're more lucrative. This one in particular. I mean, it's a city holding, but it can go directly to us. There's a potential. All right, anyhow, marriage is set. Realm Priest is way too busy. Oh, our buildings are gonna make a big influence on this, huh? Hostility points, plus three for each building we built. So we might trigger it. I mean, it'd be nice to see what different phases can do. Which building finished first, though? Because we can build another one. Ah, okay. Um, they hit 11 developments. We gotta switch it off. What are we doing here? We gotta wait till the... Okay, I'm gonna wait till the next one, and then we're gonna switch it off. Should have swapped over. Poly Hill Farm, just because we're greedy. 1.7. It's not the highest, but we'll take it. There's no money here. There's no money here. A little bit of building construction time decrease. I mean, supply limit's also important. 
I'm still gonna just use money to make more money. We buy assets first. Another building finished. Good. We have no money right now, but we will. And we'll pump out... Uh, I mean, this is on the mountains. Pastoral land is the only thing that will make money for us. And we'll build that next. Outpost is unique to mountains. And it looks like we can get archer stats. Nope. A little bit of archer damage. Mostly skirmishers. Yeah, we're going to be contributing a lot to uh, hostility. What does he want us to do? He wants us to train. Hold on. We lose and then gain it. We lose and then gain it. Feels like we do it. There's no, nothing wrong with this. We commit to aid each other, always in training each other. Awesome. How's our personal scheme going? It's progressing. Yeah. Now it's more of a wait and see type of thing. But quite low learning though. We still have our current physician. She is getting... She's still very young. And looking at our son, she's doing a decent job. Ninety-five. We probably could build. Okay, we need. Ah, oh, we got the money now. Yeah, our money is flying in twenty per month. It's very fast. Let's get this going. That's still constructing. Still constructing. I gotta pay attention to this. This is how 1.9 a month. Oh, still quite a few months away, but let that finish first. <laughs> She's got one more. Oh, we did not sway him. Are you serious? Hmm. That's rough. Now, if I want another kid, she's 41. Still possible. It's still possible. Um, <laughs> not hostile. We can... I guess there's nothing else we can really do to directly do it. We're already soulmates. I failed. That's unbelievable. We can't sway him right away. I mean, we're currently still trying. It's, it's a repeat run. Alright, let's just run it again. We didn't get any event triggers either. I think we're just trying to work our way down through the likable side of things. Just so that everyone likes us. And that maybe is another way we don't have to sway him. Maybe it's time to just learn Italian. I mean, this current Pope is probably going to die soon. But I believe... Oh, he's... Dutch. Okay, maybe we wait till we find out who the next Pope is. And then we figure it out. Oh, land's getting finished. Yep, our council's doing a great job. Civs. So, oh, actually, we probably want to build here first. Right, we don't have the innovation for that, so we have to upgrade stuff. What's a better upgrade here? Holding tax percentage. Development. Development's probably better. Not a huge fan of Beric. We can replace it with 
hunting ground or pastoral land. I think they're better options. Yeah, maybe pastoral land. Wait for a little bit more money. This does provide a little bit of spearman damage, but I just want money. We could also wait. We can expand the slots in the future. I think we upgrade the trade port later. Speaking of trade ports. Wow. We were just looking at him. The Knights Templars have been formed, a holy water. Now I believe we could possibly create a holy water ourselves once we have a thousand piety and become its patron, which I think means we can, like, recruit them cheaply. Oh, for free, against enemies, religious enemies. Yeah. So this would be, like, a huge investment in an order to help us fight for the rest of Iberia, which I think is a possible move we can do. It, it'd just be about two years worth of income for us at this point, especially since we, once we get all the buildings done, We'll have plenty of money to spend, and that might be the way to do it. As we have entered the development phase. Oh, oh, there we go. We caught it right as it swapped over. So, please here. Yes. Wait, is he? Is he doing? Yeah, he's doing it in the right place. Back. Um, let's see. Our youngest son. What's what trade is he picking up? Compassionate. He brought a, a prisoner water. Okay. I mean, it's a great trait. It's a virtuous to the Catholics. We'll take it. Do we directly control this? No. That's the other thing we have to consider, like spending money down south, eventually our sons will split that. A false conversion? A number of so-called conversos were told by their former rabbis to profess conversions to the true faith, but they have continued to practice rabbinism. Yeah, okay, Jewish faith, what's wrong with that? Are we trying to convert them? I thought we were okay with tolerance here. What's going on? We can't allow her to do as she wish. Every Christian and Jewish county in your realm will gain conversials prosecuted. Doesn't feel like there's any good outcome except for letting her do as she wish. We're just saying that they are true Christians. We accept them. All right, pasture is finished. Unfortunately, there's just not a lot of good buildings here. I mean, we're probably doing hill farm and hunting ground later. What is going on? We got a gift? Wow. That's like all his money. It was the little, I was looking at this earlier. I mean, because he likes me so much? What is this? Well, your money will be put to great use. Rest assured. We're going to do the farm first. 
Yeah, so I'm going to focus more on these just because we know we're going to have it in our player control. Maybe we do swap this now just because we're greedy. And Pastoral Land will be better because we can get um, development on it soon. Well, soon as in eventually. They make the same money. I mean, the bonus here would be the man arm and then very late development growth versus huh actually i'm not sure now 150 increasing the raid time is pretty good defending advantage is pretty good eventually we'll get this eventually this is really good light cavalry is nice we don't have it right now but we will Maybe, maybe Hunting Ground is better. Alright, we're swapping that. Alright, busy construction's going on all around. Now, we will not directly own this. But I think this is a nice bonus to pick up right now. Alright, our building spree continues. And we're gonna make hostility go really, really well. Arbitrary. Content. Most of our kids are content. Which I guess guess is good. A roadside stall. While traveling across the mountains of the county of Viseray, which is the one that we captured over there. There's a peasant named Lucidio. Jump into action trying to convince me to buy one of the small cross carved. Oh, maybe it's an artifact. Small religious carving. At worst, we get support local business. Destroy their stalls <laughs> and gain 80. I mean, 155 is quite pricey. <laughs> Let me just take this opportunity and increase my storeship. I I mean, 155 is it really that pricey? I'm assuming that artifact's going to increase piety. I'm just going to take the 100 points and run. The money's better spent, you know, building up our counties here. I can declare war. I know I can declare war, but I'm not sure if I want to declare war. <laughs> okay, we're not moving into Africa. That's that's not not interested. Yeah, farther expansion will create another duchy, which would become problematic. And they're also pretty strong. They got more allies. Hmm. Super weak. Doesn't really fit into our Portugal's claim, so all knows. We're waiting on this war. Right, we're waiting on this <laughs> to let us attack them again. That's the target that we want to go for. Okay, we can slot a final military building in. The question is, which one? Or I can just keep upgrading our buildings here. Pastoral land, especially, since we do want to get that development going. That way for 157. And the peasant, the, the physician search is uh, basically what tells me a year has passed. Kari's still around. He's become a yeah, he, he's an interesting fella. Oh, a giant, 
hold on. Can we get someone to marry you? Do we have any single gentlemen? What's your, what's her name? Deuce? That's a guest. Oh, with a good trait. A little old. We had a couple kids hang out earlier. Any of them? Oh, oh, we have a single. We have a single lady. Uh, she's she can't have kids anymore. So this does not matter at all. Let's go for like prowess. Don't care. Just prowess. 29. Wow. Anyone younger by any chance? Twenty-one with twenty-four martial skills. I think we found ourselves a winner. Well she's no, oh, she's beyond that marriage. We're gonna have to do this to grab him. And that's it. Good for us. Forty-three. Fortunately, you can't marry. Oh, we can't actually search for an actual character? Can we look for... I mean, giant is a trait. All right, let's see. We'll find him a good wife. Two traits. She's only 10, though. I think she's been the one that shows up for the physician search. Now, are we worried about our kids not having kids? Because our, our line needs to go on. But I guess, I mean, she's 13. She will be ready soon. He's only 11. Okay, all right. We're, we're cool with that. Couple marriages out of the way. Grab a couple new knights. Oh, it was in his court, okay. 133, no, we need 157. It's about two more months to upgrade the building. So expensive. Oh, our lead got attacked. Our daughter, the queen, has shown signs of pregnancy for some time now, and everyone thought that her husband, King Louis, was father child. Now it's become clear the real father is Count Joffrey. <laughs> now everyone knows. Um, so she cheated on her husband. Who cares? It's not our problem. Wait, wait, so she's currently pregnant. She already had a kid. That's fine. So she had a real one, then cheated on the second. I mean, we can't control our daughter at this point, so everyone knows now. Embarrassment to the family. Um, what was I going to do? I was going to upgrade this. And something else happened, right? 
Did he get swayed? He did. Okay, it's above 50. I think I'm okay with that now. Gonna cancel it. What should we do? Who should we... Oh, he's attacked. Right, right. What? What is this war? Ah, our neighbor. So we have to get involved here, I guess. He has allies, but his own strength is not that strong. Oh, he doesn't even have allies. Okay, well, this episode has gone on long enough. We're going to be, you know, obviously smacking him down here for our liege. Um, what is the actual war objective? Oh, my county. Okay, all right. Got it. So we'll defend our county and we'll come back next time and do that. We had a lot of fun developing. I think we're going to be super rich going forward and hopefully we'll, uh, we won't have any inheritance problems, which usually is a big challenge. We're still young. We're only 46. So until next time, bye.